Hi everyone, welcome back to EC Coding. Today we are going to discuss about automation testing interview questions of TCS. So without wasting our time, let's get started. Let's go to the first question. Tell me about yourself. Uh, it is a common repeated question. And the next one is the explain your technical experience and number of years in each technology. So here we have to explain about your skill set. So if you are working on automation testing or manual testing, both experience you can mention. Suppose you have eight years of experience, you have to mention four years in uh, automation testing or four years in the manual testing. Overall experience is eight years. And if you have mobile automation skills or AP automation or any other skill set that you have to mention here, everything you should be highlighting in this section. Let's move on to third question. Explain your automation framework. So we all know that this is the most important question in automation testing interviews. I hope we already discussed in the IBM testing interview questions. So once again, we can see what are the things we have to mention in the automation framework explanation. So first we can mention what is the programming language we have worked, whether it's C sharp or Java that you can mention. And what are the design pattern you have used? You can mention page object model design pattern you have used. So in that way, you can explain each and everything in detail. And have you used any reporting mechanism in there? That also you can explain over there. And you can explain the version control tool you have used. You can explain about Git. And uh, if you have done any Jenkins integration, that also you can mention over there. You can explain everything in detail and it should be a clear cut answer. Let's move on to the next question. Write the X path for selecting particular dates from calendar. And we can see the next question as well. That is write the X path for fetching the value from the given cell. So similar to automation framework explanation, the most important thing is X path writing. So everyone should be familiar with the X path writing. We should know following ancestor, sibling, all kind of advanced X path writing concept. So they will ask us to write different type of X path, maybe for a one particular field itself. So we should be familiar with writing different ways of X path. And for the fifth question, fetching the value from the given cell. So which is nothing, it is a web table. So we have to familiar with the TDTR concept, how to fetch a value from the given table and from the given row. So that concept we should be familiar with. Let's move on to next question which is write a program to reverse a string. So we can see how we can do the reverse a string. So here we have declared one class which is reverse. And here we have declared one string that is dream big. So this is our string which needs to be reversed. And we have created one more string. So it is for storing the reversed string. So we have to reverse this dream big and we are going to store that reversed string in the reversed str. So as of now, we are keeping as an empty one. Let's move to the next step. We have to declare a for loop. So we have declared a for loop with an integer variable i. So here we have one code to find out the length of the corresponding array. So that is string dot length minus one and it should be greater than or equal to zero and i minus minus. The for loop will be starting from the last index which means i will be initialized to string dot length minus one. The i is declared as the last index of the array. Then we can pick each character from the array and we can convert into a reversed one. So here we can notice it is mentioned as length minus one. So this is another interview question why it is length minus one. So we all know that array is starting from the index zero. So string dot length returns the number of elements present in an array. Suppose we have eight characters in that array or eight elements in that array. So string dot length will return eight as the length. So in that case length is eight but our array is starting from the zero length. So that's why we are using string dot length minus one in the for loop. So the next step is reversed string equal to reversed string plus string dot character of i. So using character of i, we are picking each and every character from the corresponding string which needs to be reversed. So first we will take g here and it will be stored to reversed str. 
after g it will be added as i and next it will take b and it will be added to the reverse string so one by one it is getting added to the reversed string reversed str so after the iteration of the last step the complete string will be reversed in the reversed str so we can print that one so that is the two statements we are used to do print the original string and the reversed string so that is all about the reverse string program so it's just a 30 minutes interview and in between they will ask most basic questions similar to this one why we are declaring the string dot length minus one so we should be familiar with this kind of basic questions and uh, what is public static void main why we are using it in this way and uh, why it is string args uh, instead of string can we use integer so these kind of questions we should be familiar so those are the basic questions they have asked while writing the program that's all about TCS automation testing interview questions. If you have any queries, please feel free to comment in the comment section. And if you haven't subscribed my channel, please care to subscribe for latest updates. So thank you for watching. See you in the next video.